first trimester, I did not work out. <laughs> um, I was working out like pretty consistently over the last year. I felt um, in like way better shape. I felt stronger and like I could notice little things, but it was my body because I know it's good for me. It's what we're meant to do. It's a gift. I try to feel grateful and remind myself what a, a privilege it is and not take it for granted because there have been times where I had like a bad back injury and I couldn't work out. I could barely walk. So that is what I remind myself. That is my why. And it's so important to have a strong why. And now being pregnant, um, that's also a very strong why to just move my body and try and stay active. I know that it's really good for my mind and mental clarity for my mood. Also physically is super good. Um, for the baby, for me, also will help with labor and delivery and postpartum recovery. So nothing crazy. I, yeah, like I didn't work out my first trimester. The fatigue was crazy. Like <laughs> I could not believe it. People are like, oh yeah, like you're really tired when you're pregnant. And I'm like, this isn't normal. This isn't tired. Like this is next level exhaustion. No energy whatsoever. I could barely like function to get through a day. <laughs> so working out was really not a priority. Like I said in my last video too, the first trimester was a lot of emotions, a lot of adjusting and processing this big life change and was also extremely nauseous all day, every day for almost two months. So that in itself, like I was just trying to get food in my body, get enough rest, it was like survival mode. I was not like, I need to work out. That was just not even an option for me. <laughs> I did, you know, do walking and stuff like that and a little bit of paddle boarding. Like I wasn't completely sedentary or anything like that, but I wasn't like working out, working out. Starting my second trimester, I when I started to feel less nauseous, feel some energy, I like literally woke up one morning I was like, oh my God, I feel kind of normal. <laughs> I'm taking advantage of this and I'm working out. So it was really exciting. And now being four months pregnant, like I feel definitely less energized than I normally would, but I'm also not really drinking caffeine. I had a little bit today, so feeling pretty good. <laughs> um, but definitely like way more energized than nausea is like pretty much non-existent. Pops up a little bit every now and then, but yeah, like pretty much gone. So. It was super important as soon as I started feeling better. You know, we've got through the adjustment phase. The first trimester was an adjustment phase. And now I'm like, okay, I need to start moving my body again and focus on my health and wellness even more, not just for me, but for this baby that I'm making. I'm trying to stay feeling good. Cause yeah, after not working out for two months, like I was feeling it. I felt really tight and like tense and stiff. And the first few workouts back, I'm gonna be completely honest, were not easy. They were very, very challenging. I was like, oh my gosh, I lost all my strength, all my stamina. I was doing half of what I was doing back in like May and I was dying. <laughs> but thankfully, after a lot of self-awareness, like mental reprogramming and reconditioning. I know like not to compare myself to what I was doing prior to getting pregnant. I'm just focusing on right here, right now, on, on today, and I'm going to celebrate the small wins and cheer myself on and be proud of myself for anything I do, telling myself what I do is enough. And even if it's five minutes of stretching, even if it's a walk around the neighborhood, like I'm gonna celebrate that. and notice the benefit of that and feel good about it rather than like beat myself up that it wasn't enough because that is not being loving that's not being helpful at all for me for anyone so yeah just easing back into it i talk a lot about that in like my habits videos of implementing healthy habits into life like giving yourself grace, easing yourself back into things, lowering those expectations and just being proud that you show up for yourself. So yeah, like today I'm feeling pretty energized, but it's honestly a beautiful day outside right now. It's sunny, it's warm. The last thing I want to do is be in my basement working out. So I'm going to write out just like a quick little workout, 20, 30 minutes max, 
just do like some back and biceps, do some stretching, and then I'll probably go for a walk outside um, either like this afternoon or this evening and enjoy the nice weather. That would be fun to show you guys what I do today and we'll see what happens after that. part of self-care is also taking care of your environment to a certain extent like i used to be a little ridiculous and was very perfectionist like type a if like the slightest thing um was out of place or if my house was dirty or messy like it would drive me nuts and i couldn't focus i'd feel stressed and overwhelmed but I also feel like life is meant to be lived and enjoyed and we shouldn't be spending so much time cleaning and organizing and decorating and I mean yes your home is an extension of you but I don't know I just feel like there's so much more to life than cleaning all the time. <laughs> So there's kind of a fine line, but it definitely is an extension of you and I love to keep my environment clean and tidy. I like to declutter often. Me and Derek actually just did a huge declutter yesterday and oh my gosh, it felt so good. Like I highly recommend at least once a year, if not twice, to just do like a quick scan through each room of your house and get rid of stuff. Get rid of things that you haven't used in the last year or things that you no longer love. Or It's just stuff, you know? It comes, it goes. It's just things. Um, we don't need to like put so much of ourselves into like how our house looks and our stuff. I don't know. But anyways, it does feel really good to kind of minimize and really cherish each thing that I have in my house and take care of it and just do like a little bit each day to feel like oh, more calm and clear and at ease. This was really far away. I had it on a tripod. So we're getting up close and personal. Hope you don't mind. Um, so yeah, I just finished my workout and nothing crazy. It was like half an hour of like start to finish, warm up, weights stretching all that was only half an hour and that's really all you need even like 20 minutes i'm always super proud of myself so i'm gonna make myself a protein shake because protein is very important for many reasons and i don't need to talk about it because i feel like it's all over the internet and all over social media everyone is talking about protein and how good it is for you so especially after working out and then i'm gonna go sit outside and enjoy this beautiful day because for me, self-care, and I think for anybody, just connecting with nature. Anytime I'm out in nature, I instantly feel more grounded and more clear, and more peaceful. I love being outside. And I'm gonna water my plants. It's almost harvest time. I'm giving it a few more days, but I do need to harvest the rest of my vegetables and apples from my apple tree. I'm so excited. And yeah, just like finding little things that are magical to you and bring you joy, I think is a major part of self-care and self-love in each day whether it's like picking fruit from your fruit trees buying yourself a bouquet of fall flowers moving your body taking two minutes to focus on your breath so many different things i try to do at least a few of them every day and my why is always because it makes me feel good i feel my best self let's take control of ourselves and our lives and choose things that help us feel our best feel peaceful and grounded feel loved and our most authentic self
apples. They're so little. <laughs> oh, I just love them. This is my first year with a an apple tree and it just has brought me so much joy. I get so excited every time I look at them. They're tiny little crab apples, but um, they're actually really sweet. They're really good. They're almost like a honey crisp. So yeah, our baby little tree with the baby apples. There's not very many. We've picked a lot already, but that is what I have on my snack plate. <laughs> Cutest apple. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm on my chocolate milk, my protein chocolate milk. And if you've been here before, you already know the power of now. I read it over and over and over again. And it's been a little while, so I thought I would just read a few pages. I feel like it just is the best reminder of like how I want to live life consciously and presently. I feel like I said that weird. <laughs> and then I also haven't done gratitude yet today, so I thought I would write my gratitude list and do a little journaling.